Hello, this is Tutor Man, and this is the TutorMedia.net Tutor Tip. Today we're going to be writing a linear equation in slope-intercept form, which is a common homework problem given to algebra students. So let's get right into it. And basically a linear equation written in the form y equals mx plus b is said to be in slope-intercept form. Now we want to get linear equations into slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b because it's easier to identify the slope which is the m and it's very easy to identify the y-intercept of the line which is where the line crosses the y-axis which is b so basically what we're going to be doing is getting an, a linear equation and we're going to solve for y and um, here are two examples of equations in slope and slope form one is y equals 3x minus 6 and the other is y equals 1 half x plus 3 halves. Again as I said before this form is called slope intercept form because the m represents the slope of the graph and the b represents the y intercept. And here's a little chart that can help you identify the slope and the y intercept when it's in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so here's a, an example that uh, many algebra students uh, get for their homework. You have to write an equation in slope-intercept form. Uh, so, to write an equation in slope-intercept form, we're going to solve for y. And so here's the problem. Write the equation negative 3x plus 4y equals 8 in slope-intercept form. Then, state the slope and the y-intercept. And so basically, here's a solution. We're going to solve for y again. So the, we have we start off with the equation negative 3x plus 4y equals 8. Well, the whole point of what we want to do is just have the y equals, and then the mx plus b part. So since we want to, since we only want the y on the left hand side of the equation, we want to get rid of the negative 3x. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to combine something to it to make it zero and basically negative 3x plus 3x is zero and remember we don't just add on the left hand side of the equation whatever we do on the left hand side of the equation or vice versa if we do on the right side of the equation we want to do it on the other side so we're going to add 3x not only here but also here on the right hand side of the equation and then so the negative 3x and the 3x cancel out and we're left with 4y equals 3x plus 8. Again, we're not done yet because we only want y. So, to get rid of the 4, we're going to divide by 4 because 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 1y one is the same as y. So, we're going to divide 4y by 4, 3x by 4, and 8 by 4. And after we do that, we're left with the equation y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. And so basically the slope is written as m equals 3 fourths and the y intercept is written as b equals 2. And now it's really important to understand when you're good at uh, making linear equations into the slope intercept form you'll be able to identify the slope easier, the y intercept easier, and you'll be able to graph the line easier. I'll be graphing this line in the next video. For more video tips on a range of different subjects, please visit our blog at www.tutormanianet.blogspot.com.